Arsenal and Macalista look like they are really advanced in talks to either sign him into the transfer window that is going to happen or open up on the 1st of June. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokani David. We are discussing Mikel. <coughs> we are discussing Mikel Arteta being commended by one of the players at Aston known as the goalkeeper Matt Turner. And lastly, Bukayo Saka <coughs> and Martinelli have been included into the rest to be voted as the fans' player for the month of of March. You know, <laughs> don't get surprised. There is the Premier League player <coughs> for the month that was won by Bokayo Saka. There is the Arsenal player award of the month of the month of March. It was won by Leandro Trossard. And now there is this one set by the Premier League that is being voted on by all the fans that support the Premier League. And whoever <coughs> gets the most number of votes is the one who is really being represented to. And Rashford won it last month. Sorry, last month, but one that is in February. And now Bukayo Saka and Martinelli have been really <coughs> put into that contention. So, guys, allow us go into this and really dissect a little bit of Macalista. Now, yesterday, I got a story coming in from CL Leo. It's called CL Leo Melo. And uh, he comes in from South, South, South America, one of the credible journalists. And I've just seen here Fabrizio Romano referring to him about the deal of the new Uruguayan manager, known to be Marcel C Mas is it Bielsa, formerly at Leeds. <clears throat> he first told us yesterday that Manchester United, Liverpool, and Arsenal all have serious interest in signing Brighton midfielder Alex McAllister in the upcoming summer transfer window, with two of those clubs already negotiating a move. Now, talking about two of those clubs and i think arsenal is one of those two negotiating because they've proven to us that they are a team that goes ahead and tries to really secure their targets early enough remember last summer <coughs> arsenal first secured matt Turner, they brought in maquinos they brought in jesus and they had said so they started to talk to jesus around the 6th of march so if they start as far as that month, that means they've already started talking to Macalista. And I think Macalista will be so much privileged to go to Arsenal because there are other two players of him, of him, of his form of his team, Brighton, that are really at Arsenal. That is Leandro Trossard and uh, Ben White, meaning that he'll be having a very huge welcome and will easily feel at home because they are players that he played with before <coughs> at Brighton. Now Arsenal has a norm of really negotiating these deals really quick and even Edu, while at the Football London Awards, he confirmed to us that they are already carrying out negotiations and discussions as far as their transfer targets are really concerned. And for any elite club, that's what you should be having because when you look at Arsenal, by the time they went to the pre-season in America, they had brought in Matt Turner, Marquinhos, <coughs> Jesus and Fabio Vieira and they added only one player known as Zinchenko. So meaning out of the five players they signed in the summer, they had so far brought in four before they went to the preseason. Meaning that for any elite team to go ahead and really thrive as far as signing players is concerned, they need to carry out negotiations early enough. And now looks like Arsenal is really carrying out these negotiations and they've gone ahead to reach some levels. Having not broadcasted that story before yesterday, <coughs> Today, another one has been fronted by the same journalist known as known as Caesar Luis Melo coming in from um, coming in from um, coming in from Argentina and obviously South America. He has gone ahead to add more beef to his statement and his head. The interest of Arsenal, Man United and Liverpool is Macalista. The interest of Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool in Macalista is absolutely confirmed. What I confirm, what I can confirm is that two clubs, two clubs out of those three are already advancing to try to buy him in the summer. The price is talked about to be 61 million pounds. Now, Macalista is a World Cup winner. He won a World Cup with Argentina, and most of you really had a very good eye orgasm for him because he was really so much important for that Argentinian midfield and he played very well. To me, I believe he should be one of those players that Arsenal will be dying to get. Do you know why? <clears throat> he's like Moise Quesido, you know, 
he's like Moise Kesido, and he plays as a CDM. He can play as uh, number eight in the Grand Tijaka role. He can also play in the Martin Odegaard role as a central attacking midfielder. To me, it comes to my understanding that it might be another second plot <coughs> slated by Arsenal to see to it that they really get a player from Brighton. Having given Moise Kesido a new contract of four years, that can really put him in a situation of not, of not really <coughs> coming in through to really get out of Brighton and maybe Arsenal have anticipated that they should go in for another player from Brighton that is McAllister. To me, <clears throat> either Kesid or McAllister will be a very good addition that Arsenal side. Why? They all bring a lot of quality in the central midfield and they are really good players. When you look at McAllister, when he's playing into the advanced position of the goal of the midfield, he has a lot of goals attached to his to his game. And uh, he also has assists. When you look at McAllister this season, to show you that he can be a perfect fit into that Arsenal midfield, he has gone ahead to play <clears throat> 24 games in the Premier League. He has scored 8 goals with 1 assist. In the EFL Cup, that is the Carabao Cup, he has found himself playing 2 games with 2 assists. That is Makalista for you. And um, when you look at... Uh, when you look at Argentina, <laughs> this 2022, he played 6 games and scored 1 goal with 1 assist. So it shows you that He's really a very fantastic player that you can really recon with as far as the Arsenal side is really concerned. So to my understanding, it comes <clears throat> to my know that this boy or this lad is really important and Arsenal are really going hard for him because he's talented, guys. He's talented and he can be a very good addition to that midfield. Now, Arsenal look like their midfield circle <clears throat> is extending or is expanding from... Moise Kesido, Declan Rice, Zubel Mendy, Chiomini, and then Makalista. And out of all those that are being mentioned, Arsenal only want two. Arsenal want to sign only two central midfielders and they want to reinforce that midfield because of the age factor that is affecting their midfield. Only Odegaard, Fabio Vieira, Emily smith Rowe are the central midfielders they are having that are really young. But Thomas Partey is clocking 30, Jorginho <coughs> is 31. Jaka just clocked 31, so it just leaves Arsenal in a situation of really worry because those years are so much, are so much attributed to injuries. That's it. If they tell you that a player who is like 30, 30, 31 years of age is injured, his his healing rate is really less, you know. Unless otherwise, he's this kind of player who really keeps his body very well and is really maintaining it very well. That's why you see through it that Ingoro Kante is really having lots of problems with his body and he comes he returns from injury plays some two three games goes back but look at christian erickson he got an ankle injury that was supposed to keep him that was what that was supposed to keep him out for three months but in just two months he's back because he's a person who has really gone ahead to really <coughs> prioritize taking care of his body so the likes of Macalista, casey ho declan rice to be mendy chiomin and very many others Arsenal just wants two out of those midfielders and they want to reinforce their midfield in the next season because they're going to be exposed to very many games and obviously they want to compete in every in every tournament. When you look at the the season they are in right now, the only tournament they competed in is the Premier League. FA Cup, they didn't compete, they just participated. Uh, Carabao Cup, they participated, they never competed. And in the FA Cup, they did the same meaning that next season they need to set <coughs> their levels high to see to it that they battle all for the all competitions in there for you. But I think McAllister will be really wanting to come to Arsenal because it's really a very attractive club, provided his team that he plays for Brighton decides to sell him. Now, <coughs> two Arsenal players, that is Gabriel Martinelli and Bokayo Saka, have been nominated for the Premier for the PFA Player of the Month Award of March. That is <coughs> Premier League Fans Player of the Year. <coughs> it's not of the, of the month of March. Trust me, they performed very well. And uh, one will go into a situation of being perplexed and uh, confusion because you'll say, but Bukayo Saka won the Premier League Player of the Month of <coughs> March. 
Trossard won the Arsenal player for the month of March. Now, where is that coming in from? You know, you won't be well conversant with it because you've not seen it being won by player of Arsenal for ages. But for we who support teams have seen players win it, it's will be, it has been one of those that has been voted on every month. And this month, it's Bukayo Saka, Martinelli and very many others. And I believe it's going to go to Arsenal because no team had a better performance in March than Arsenal. And Bukayo Saka was really flying. But Martinelli was really superb, you know. <clears throat> Arsenal played five games. But in those five games, I think he had close to four goals. That is uh, Martinelli. Saka also had like three with some good assists. So I think the fans will go in for one of those. But it's really a long list of players that have been nominated into that. And I think it's going to go to Arsenal. No one is going to stop those lads of Arsenal from winning because they are everything that you would love to that you would love your your football team to be that's what those lads are so thank you very much for watching it through let's go to the last story of <clears throat> matt Tana. um i think i've thrown a lot of a lot of light onto that because i've seen very many people complaining that it's saka that won it now what of trossard now you're telling us the premier league fans player of the month yeah that award is always there the fans really go ahead and really vote for it is the fans it's fan voted it's fan voted and after those fans vote obviously that award is really thrown into that player that has been voted for i think he should win either saka or martinelli but i think it might go to bokayo saka you know however much saka is a very good player but he has favor on him that likeable attribute he has that li likeable attribute onto him as far as the fans are really concerned now <clears throat> Matt Turner signed for Arsenal in the January transfer window of 2022, but he started to operate officially at Arsenal in the summer of 2022. Now, he has gone ahead and revealed to us the magic of Mikel Arteta that <clears throat> I think playing under a manager like Mikel Arteta, who is very demanding day in and day out has helped me being around really high quality players and our team performing at a high level seeing what it takes to succeed consistently at the pinnacle was really eye-opening that is what Matt Turner is really saying and obviously he's being put into that mode by Mikel Arteta you know Mikel Arteta keeps on pushing you day in day out and he doesn't take I performed well today for an answer because even tomorrow he'll be calling for a much more better performance than you put in today so matt turner is referring to michaela teta that he has gonna hit to open up his eyes at the pinnacle of everything and <clears throat> he's really one of those money that are gonna head to really show him that everything is possible and just keep pushing and going as a goalkeeper of us remember matt turner is the understudy of aaron ramsdale and um he's happy he's happy at arsenal and michaela teta is also happy to see him really do the wonders that he does every time he's in goal ball distribution good short stopping good game reading good so i think he's one of those players that can push aaron ramsdale and you've seen him in certain games he has been given obviously he's gonna hate to do the need for and obviously win games for the arsenal side so guys your thoughts on to makalista to arsenal interest confirmed by a reporter coming in from Argentina. What are your thoughts about it? Should Arsenal go in for Makalista? Yes or no? Bokayo Saka and Martinelli nominated into the award of the best fans player for the month of March. And lastly, Matt Turner throwing lots of hails to the manager of Arsenal, Mikel Arteta. Guys, I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly. My Muslim friends, Ramadan Karim, I'm out.